What's happening, YouTube family? It's your boy, Adrian, back with another video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you can get all my updated videos. Um, the channel is definitely growing, and I appreciate all of you guys. Um, one thing I noticed about one, um, when you get 100 subscribers, obviously, they allow you to go live. So um, I am going to do a few live videos soon. Um, I'm just uh, trying to get a little more comfortable in front of the camera before I start going live with you guys. <clears throat> but I feel like um, going live will allow me to get to know you guys a little bit better and um, for us to kind of discuss some of the topics about narcissism and narcissistic personality abuse um, in a more like in-depth way. I, um, you guys are so insightful. Like I read your comments. I read all of your comments. Like I, I if you guys notice, um, I hit the like button and I read just about every one of your comments when I catch them. Um, the only ones that I don't read is if I just didn't catch it and I will eventually get around to it when, once I get some time. But um, I just want to encourage you guys to continue to uh, just share because I feel like your remarks that like the comments and the remarks that you you guys leave um, also help me um, get a better understanding of what I'm going through. And I'm sure it helps a lot of other people on the channel when they read your remarks. Um, so I appreciate all of you guys for um, just your continued input with the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this video. Um, you guys read the title. Y'all read it and I said it. Um, so did the narcissist kill my dog? Um, so I want to get right into it. So I had a pug. Um, I had a pug puppy that I got from the Amish country. Um, he was AKC registered. This pug was amazing. He um, he did he, like everybody loved this dog. Everybody, my my whole entire family, everybody that came over, they um, doted over this dog. Um, but one thing I noticed, and I didn't really catch it while I was in the relationship with the narcissist, is um, she never interacted with the dog at all. And when I say never interacted with the dog, like over a course of me having this dog for about 10 years, I never saw her pet the dog once. Um, and it wasn't really weird to me during the relationship, but after the fact, it was kind of weird to me because everybody else that had ever came in contact with the dog just fell in love with the dog. He was he was so cool or whatever. So um, anyway, so the discard came um, and after the discard came, uh, I started understanding about narcissism and, and when I started applying some of the tools that I learned, like in my situation, I had to go gray rock because I still had um, ties um, with the narcissist. So I had to go gray rock. So once I started applying some of the tools um, in gray rocking and I'm going to do another video on gray rocking because I feel like I got a lot of good tips on um, things that could help you guys do that a little bit better. If you have to, uh, if you have to deal with the narcissist on a consistent basis, um, I've, I've had to do this. I've been gray rocking for about two years now, about a year and a half now. Um, so I, have pretty I have some pretty good tips on grave rocking so I'm gonna do that in a separate video but um in this video I'm talking about the dog so uh, while I was grave rocking I feel like the narcissist was trying to figure out a way to Hoover so she was looking for a vulnerability and at the time I was grave rocking like a boss like I wasn't um, letting any, I was, I had shut down social media. I had blocked everything. I had blocked all, this, all of the flying monkeys, um, <clears throat> all of that kind of thing. So it was um, no really holes to get in. So one day uh, the dog has a tendency. Now the dog had, had a tendency anyway of anytime you open the front door, he was so small that he could just squeeze out the front door and he would run the neighborhood and I've been living in my neighborhood currently for about 10 years. So he knows the neighborhood very well. He knows the um, all the neighbors, like everybody knows him. Everybody knows which house he belongs to. 
and nobody ever bothers him um, and he doesn't bother anybody. He's not a threat to the community or anything. So um, nobody ever really bothered him when he would leave and he would always come back. So uh, one particular day, the narcissist came over to uh, pick my child up. So we um, share child custody and we were doing a child exchange and the dog got loose. And when the dog got loose, um, he disappeared and I didn't think anything of it because, you know, this is something that he normally does. So while he was gone, you know, I didn't think anything of it until it became like longer than the time that he would normally come back. Like he's normally not gone over 30 minutes to an hour, but this particular time it was like three hours had passed and I didn't hear from him. So I started looking through the neighborhood for him, didn't see him. Um, about a day went past and now I'm like really worried because he's never stayed out over a day. And it, at that time it was, um, this was about a month and a half, maybe two months ago. So it was like dead in the middle of summer and it was super hot. So I wanted to make sure he was okay. Um, if he had eaten anything, you know, I, I know uh, pugs have uh, respiratory problems and things like that. So I was worried about if he had gotten any water or, or anything like that. So I'm going through the neighborhood. I'm calling animal control to see if they had picked him up or any of that kind of stuff. Now, what's um, kind of crazy about the situation is, like I said, I never saw the narcissist that I was uh, dealing with ever interact with this dog at all. But the next visit, the next time that she came to, um, that we did the exchange for my son, her other son jumped out of the car and he was like, hey, where's the dog? And he, you know, he called the dog by name and everything and I'm, and at this time, the dog is missing. I'm not um, knowing that the dog had passed away or anything at that time. The dog was just missing for about a week. And I just felt like it was kind of funny because um, number one, the dog could have very well been in the house. He didn't come, like they didn't come in the house. Uh, they just pulled up out front. And uh, so he, asked about the dog and I'm like, well, the dog could have actually been in the house. So I felt like that was kind of funny. Like, um, maybe she had done something to the dog and she had him ask questions. And the reason, and the only reason that I, um, even thought like that is because she has had him lie and she has used him like as a flying monkey. She has used her oldest son as a flying monkey, um, to abuse me before. So I was kind of just, uh, it, it kind of threw a red flag. Um, and so I didn't say anything. I just left it alone because I didn't want to give away, um, like I was gray rocking. So I wasn't giving away any emotion really. I was just, you know, um, when he asked about the dog, I just remained quiet and we did the exchange and, I, you know, I walked away or whatever. So um, what ended up happening was a few days later, I actually found the dog. He was dead. Um, and it looked like maybe he had been poisoned and he got sick and ran under the deck, ran under my deck and I guess got scared and, and just died under there. So I finally found him. Um, and once I found him, I had posted on social media. I had posted on Facebook um, because like I said, my whole network, my whole family had known about this dog and everybody was pretty close to the dog or whatever. So I had posted on uh, social media. Now, mind you, I blocked uh, the narcissist that I was involved with from all of my social media pages. So she didn't um, see that the dog had died on my page. But I'm guessing, you know, maybe she had flying monkeys on, on my page watching, or um, maybe it was like I had tagged my sister in it. So at the time, maybe my sister's page was open. But um, what ended up happening was she used that as a Hoover attempt. So she contacted me when she found out the dog died and she uh, sent me a text message and it was just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear about the dog. And then she and then she referenced. She was like, uh, "Yeah, 
my son, you know, her her oldest son had just asked about the dog the other day. And I kind of, you know, it kind of raised my antennas again. Like, I feel like I was being set up. I feel like, you know, she had possibly did something to the dog and used that as an opportunity to contact me and to Hoover. Um, now, I'm not saying that that actually happened. It's just a conspiracy. I just wanted to get uh, your thoughts on it, guys. <clears throat> um, that is something that actually happened in my situation. Um, she, Like I said, she used the dog's death as a as an attempted Hoover. Um, and I was just, and it was kind of crazy to me because like I said, she had never even, I've never even seen her pet this dog, but in her text message, it was literally like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear about the dog. Um, let, please let me know if it's anything that I can do, if, if it's anything that, you know, if it's anything that you need. And I'm like, you know, um, you are more apologetic about the dog dying than you are about the things that you actually did to me. So that was just kind of crazy to me. It was, you know, um, it was kind of crazy for her to use the dog's death as a Hoover attempt. And then, like I said, it was just, it kind of raised a lot of red flags because I'm like, maybe, possibly she did something to the dog. I'm not sure. I'm not going to put that on her. Um, I'm not going to put that beef on her because I can't prove that. But I just felt like it was a possibility. So um, you guys get in the comment box. Let me know if the narcissist you ever dealt with has um, attacked your pets in any way um, or if they just showed any like hatred towards your pets or anything like that. I just wanted to um, get that video out and just get your feedback on it and see what you guys uh, see what your experience was with the narcissist and your pet. Salute you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. We're going to get into more videos later. Talk to you.